Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video, and today I'm going to be uploading the last few videos from my stamp experience in Chicago at their stamp show. But I also want to talk about the stamp show coming up in the middle of October. Um, as you can see, it's called Nojex. I'm super excited for the stamp show. I know Conversations with Philados will be there. I know Graham Beck from Exploring Stamps will be there. So hopefully, you guys can come um, kind of meet us, talk to us, um, and again, just continue to build this awesome stamp community that we have. Um, super excited about it. So if you can get your if you can get a chance to head on up to New Jersey, do it. It's going to be great. Hope to see y'all there. How you doing? I'm doing great today. Awesome. So tell us your name, what you got for us today. Well, my name is Labrin Harris, and I'm a dealer, and I'm going to show you some more modern covers that might be of interest to uh, less advanced collectors. Anyway, the first thing I want to show you, it's a modern cover, and it has a picture of a bird on it. And people collect topical items. And this cover is a perfect cover for a topical item. The United States uh, Post Office printed stationary, which is what is this is, and they have a little bird stamp paying the rate. And it's a nice little cover, and it's something that for good for people to start out who want to collect topical and birds. The Great. next cover I have is actually more interesting. It's a letter, uh, it's from the Arctic, the, the Arctic Expedition, the North Pole. It's got a picture of a man with a polar bear. And this is always fun to have. And this was, uh, this is actually a, a one that was sent, a lot of these are what they call philatelic are made for people. This was actually used by an individual and it was sent from here, I don't know where it went, it went to Decatur, Illinois, which is around here. I'm in uh, Rosemont now. And it's got a letter in it. It's a great little thing. And it's, it's a fun area to collect. And both these areas are good areas for getting people to collect because you have to spend a lot of money. And if I never recommend anybody to spend a lot of money unless you know what you're doing. I agree. Anyway. That's what I have today for you. I hope this uh, creates interest in you. I think stamp picks is a great hobby. I hope that you all get involved. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your covers with us. Hey, how you doing? Good. Awesome. So what's your name? What do you have for us today? So I'm Henry Gittner. I've um, been doing stamps for 45 years about. So uh, these stamps are Hitler stamps from uh, about 1943. But what makes them interesting is they were created by the uh, OSS, which was the forerunner to uh, the CIA. And it was part of what's called Operation Cornflake, created by General Donovan, head of the OSS. And when the Allies bombed trains, they also dropped bags of mail that they created from phone directories to kind of demoralize the uh, German citizens. So. You have, uh, at top, you have the forgeries, first three. First two are fakes of these regular stamps. That's how they were issued by Germany. So they put these stamps on mail, addressed to citizens, and inside they had mail that was anti-German propaganda. So you can see the regular ones say Deutsches Reich. And that were, those were on the outside, and they postmarked, fake postmarked and everything. And the inside says Fuchs Reich, and it shows Hitler with a skull head, and Fuchs is like Finnish Republic, or and uh, and this was to you know to like as I said to demoralize the uh, citizens, you know, make them uh, realize the war was going to be over. And uh, what's interesting is on the bottom they also made forgeries of the propaganda forgeries. That's what these are called. And these were made around 2000 to defraud collectors. And their uh, paper's a little too shiny. But it's a great story. It was called Operation Cornflake. And you could actually Google that and look it up, and you can read the whole story about it. And uh, it's a really cool story. So Google Operation Cornflake, and you'll find all about it. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing us sharing with us those stamps. You're welcome.